Hi my beautiful lovelies and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be recreating the stunning Deepika Badkon's makeup look which is super trending right now and people are going crazy as she walked the ramp for Manish Malhotra at Miss One 2022. She looked absolutely stunning with Ranveer by her side and they looked breathtaking the bronzy eyelids the black smoky eyes with hair that's messy wavy and pulled back and as soon as i saw her instagram i thought i had to do it and show it to you guys so if you guys would like to see how i recreated this look then please keep watching So a good makeup starts with good skin prep. So I'm clipping my hair back and then went straight on with niacinamide, dew drops, watermelon serum from Glow Recipe. And I'm dropping this onto the main areas of my face and then just applied that all over. And to avoid any friction on my skin, I'm tapping the serum into my skin instead of massaging that. And this serum, I kid you not, instantly brightens up the skin and minimizes the appearance of pores. And then for primer, I'm grabbing Farsali Unicorn Essence Serum and I'm dropping this onto the center of my face and then just applied that all over. And this is actually a antioxidant serum, but I'm using it as a primer for a nice dewy finish and also to hydrate the skin, which it honestly does. That's why I love to use it as a primer. And then I took the professional primer from Benefit and I'm targeting in the areas only where I need, like where I have visibly large pores and this fills them up like instantly and gives you the baby bum smooth appearance and makes the foundation blend in smoothly without settling in your pores and i'm smoothing it over then massaging so instead of absorbing away it gets filled up in the pores and then as a last prepping step i'm taking fix plus bronze light spray from mac and i'm drenching my face with this spray like literally and this hydrates preps and adds a beautiful glow to your skin as it has tiny little golden particles in the bottle that's why you have to always shake the bottle before spraying to get those magical gold sparkles work on your skin and then for foundation i'm taking sephora best skin ever foundation mixed in with some bojwa healthy mix and then i applied the concoction mixture onto my skin and then just did the usual shebang with my beauty sponge this is such a beautiful skin match as you can see my face and neck perfectly matched with the shade and the Deepika skin is super even toned and airbrushed so I chose these foundations and if you guys are following me for a while now then you know that I mix and match the medium and light shades to get my shade tone because I'm constantly in the shade in between medium and light so mixing these foundations shades does a very good job on my skin. And then I quickly primed my eyelids with eyeshadow primer portion from Urban Decay and it holds eyeshadow colors like a glue for a really long time and makes your colors transfer proof like there's no joke in that. And then before I forget, I'm quickly moisturizing my lips with Basic Beauty Summer Lip Oil to obviously hydrate my lips by the time I put lipsticks on. And then taking this gorgeous shade from Aether Beauty called Desert Sand and I'm popping this all over my eyelids and brushing that towards the crease. And this is because I need a nice bronzy base for my eyelids to get that stunning bronzy eyelid look like Deepika. And then grabbing this shade called Sedona from the same palette. And I'm layering this color onto my eyelids and stopping the brush where I have my crease line and then blended away the harsh edges there in windshield wiper motion and layering the base colors really help with the final outcome and it makes the blending process much easy and less complicated and then for bronziness i'm taking urban decay eyeliner pencil in the shade bourbon and i'm mapping out the eyelid shape if that makes sense and i'm filling in that mapped out eyelid with the pencil and this pencil is super creamy and doesn't run chalky so it's easier for me to use this color with shimmer rather than using a powdery shimmer eyeshadow if you know what I'm talking about. And then taking this dark brown eyeshadow called Mesquite and I'm deepening up the crease line and also outline of the eyelid and it adds that beautiful gradient to the whole look and because this is a smoky eyes it intensifies the overall bold eye look and complements the black kajal look without making it too flat 
and it has to look like a lotus petal in shape and then she has a spotlight shimmer on her eyelids so i'm taking hourglass scattered light glitter eyeshadow in the shade smoke which is a bronzy champagne color and i'm popping this with my finger in the center of my eyelids without messing up any of the outline of the eyelid and then taking stila smudge pot in black I'm creating a thick wing like Deepika and she has her wing stopped at the eyebrow length. So I'm doing the same with my winged eye as well. And I kid you not, her makeup looks look like they are super complicated but actually very easy to create. So I'm slowly and patiently creating a wing and then I'm just neatening up the edges to make it look thick as well as precise and to clean up the messed up areas i'm using a makeup wipe from neutrogena and then grabbing the same mesquite eyeshadow again and i'm going over in the areas where the crease part like eyelid outline which should look intense like the picas and in case if you are wondering a small doomed eyeshadow brush will be perfect to outline the eyelid without getting into your eyelid space and then i did the exact same thing to the other eye as well before taking jet black eyeliner from anastasia beverly hills and i'm going over on top of that winged eyeliner to make that wing look super duper black and bold and this eyeliner is super long lasting and sets up really really fast so i'm quickly grabbing a jet black matte eyeshadow from anastasia beverly hills which is in the shade noir and i'm packing that color on top of that winged eyeliner we freshly topped and this makes the wing look black bold and intense without getting transferred anywhere and of course for black smoky eyes you will end up with crazy fallouts that's why i didn't do my concealer yet so i'm wiping away the fallouts and then went straight ahead and applied concealer so for that i grabbed l'oreal paris infallible full coverage concealer in the shade cashew and i popped that in the center of my face like you can see here under my eyes my forehead bridge of my nose around my mouth and just under where my contour would be and then blender everything out seamlessly with a damp beauty sponge and this concealer is very full coverage probably one of the best full coverage at the drugstore it's a great one for covering blemishes or uneven pigmentation but it might be a little heavy for the under eyes so apply very little and then blend taking stila smudge pot liner i'm running that along my lower water lines for bold kajal liner look and then like we did with the upper lash lines i'm doing the same with the lower part as well but in the water lines and then with jet black liner i topped that on those low water lines to make it more intense and then i also ran that liner along my upper water lines as well and i used the same brush to do that then grabbing Sedona color which is this warm color that we used on our eyelids I'm taking the same color to diffuse my lower lash lines and make it nice and smoky and then to set my concealed and highlighted areas in place I'm grabbing fit me setting powder from Maybelline and this is in the shade light medium and I'm picking extra powder onto my sponge and baking those highlighted areas for airbrushed flawless finish look and i'm going to let that powder sit for a moment while i apply my bronzer so for that i'm taking anastasia beverly hills bronzing powder in the shade saddle which is a super warm shade and i'm applying that bronzer wherever i have left gaps like apart from concealed areas i'm applying this everywhere and this is just to make my face look more sculpted, toned, chiseled, sharp and all that jazz like the Picas. And I'm doing a nose contour here to make my overall face look symmetrical. Because if you see the Picas face, her facial features are super symmetrical and sharp. So yeah, I'm dusting away the excess powder with my trusty duo fiber brush from Half Caked. And then for blush, I'm taking Day Trip Blush Color from Wonder Beauty Eyeshadow Palette and I'm popping this onto the apples of my cheeks and then blended that towards my cheekbones before taking Sedona Eye Color and I just used that to diffuse the lower lash lines one last time before taking Jet Liner from Anastasia Beverly Hills again. 
and I'm drawing a line very close to the lower lash lines. I'm not smoking this line or anything like that, but I'm drawing a line just to balance out the whole eye look. And then I sprayed my beauty sponge with some setting spray and then bounced that sponge all over my face to lock everything in place and prevent any powderiness. And while my skin is still wet, I'm grabbing my Wonder Beauty palette again. And this time taking this highlighter shade called After Hours and I'm popping that highlighter onto the high points of my face to attract light. Deepika's highlighter is so subtle yet super light reflecting without having the look of shimmer or glitter. And this highlighter is perfect for this look. It's super lightweight but attracts the light beautifully without having the feeling of heaviness or too over the top. And then before I forget, I'm popping the same highlighter onto my eyebrow bone area as a gorgeous yet subtle eyebrow highlight near the tear duct area and also not forgetting the good old Cupid's bow. And then for my brows, Deepika's brows look kind of like bleached or something. I thought of bleaching it, but then nah, I have makeup to do that. So I grabbed my NYX eyebrow powder pencil in the shade Espresso, which is two shades lighter than my actual brow hair color. And I'm using this to fill in my brows and get that bleached out eyebrow hair look like Deepika's. And then I brushed the brows with spoolie to brush away any extra color but it's still looking black because my eyebrows are super black and thick so i'm grabbing the eyebrow gel also from nyx and this is also in the shade espresso and i'm brushing that through my brows and you can see how beautifully this transforming my black brows to brown without looking too artificial or painted up and then i'm neatening up the edges to make sure there are no centipede hairs going on and then for my lashes i'm taking mark jacobs velvet noir major volume mascara and i'm going to town and applying lots of mascara onto my upper lashes and unfortunately this mascara is being discontinued so i stocked three or four mascaras for later use it's just that incredible but i'm gonna add another mascara layers and this time i'm taking lash brag volumizing mascara from anastasia beverly hills and pop that mascara on top and this gives the illusion of falsies but in fact you are just wearing two mascaras and i'm also applying the same mascara onto my lower lashes as well now moving on to the lips first i'm taking persona cosmetics lip liner in deep brick shade and i'm lining my lips with that and deepika's wearing a nude brown lip color that is a mix of warm and cool so first i line my lips with this lip liner as a warm brown base shade and then i'm taking anastasia beverly hills liquid lipstick in the shade hudson which is a gorgeous cool warm nude brown shade and i'm applying this lip color all over my lips and i lightly blotted the extra color off to make the lips look matte and nude and gorgeous as deepika's and then for my hair i took off the clips and i previously curled my hair lightly like light waves and then i took locket hold spray from l'oreal paris and sprayed this on to the crown part of my head under and over and pulled back the hair from my ears and then i sprayed my hand with some spray and pushed the hair from my ears to the back to achieve that wet hair look of deepika's and i also added some jewelry like her and this you guys is the makeup look complete thank you so so much everyone for watching i hope you guys really enjoyed watching this deepika padukone inspired makeup look please make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time i post a new video and the button is just right here on the screen and also like this video if you do and i'll see you guys very soon in my next one bye